Can you go live without being live yourself? Can you be in two places at once? Can you automate your live stream ministry? Today, I'm gonna show you how you can do that with this special new software that I am just blown away by. Let's go. Waiting for perfection never got anything done. You just have to start. Today I want to talk to you about a brand new software that's going to help you go live without being live and get all the benefits of going live on Facebook without having to use Facebook itself to go live or the Premiere. This also works on YouTube the same with, and it's, I think it's been more beneficial than YouTube Premiere. And before I do that, I just want to remind you, if you love hearing how you can improve and maximize your church media ministry, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you want to be notified. We're putting out videos every week and we don't want you to miss any any of them. Now let's get to this one. This is a brand new software. The owner reached out to me and said, we've got some churches finding tremendous success with this and we want you to do a review for it. So he gave me a review account and I am just, let me say, blown away by how easy the software to use is and actually how much more I think I need it than when I first just heard about it. That software is called Live Pigeon. Live Pigeon is a software that you can go live without being live. And I'm gonna do kind of a quick run through demo here and then come back and give you my thoughts on why we would want this software and uh, what what's the benefit of it over just doing Facebook Live or Facebook Premiere or YouTube Live and YouTube Premiere. So let's get into the software and let me give you my thoughts. So this is what the Live Pigeon software looks like. And it's super simple. And you might think, why would I pay money for this? And the reason is because of how simple it is. And you can actually save money by investing in a software just like this. Live Pigeon lets you schedule your Facebook Lives. And I know you might be thinking, why would I do this? Why would I need this when I have Facebook Premiere? Let me show you just how easy it is to do this. So first of all, I have the dashboard here where I can sign in to Facebook or sign in with YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with Facebook and they're gonna basically get my Facebook info which I've already connected and they're gonna get that ready for me. So I can go live now by uploading a pre-recorded video or I can schedule a pre-recorded video and that's what I'm gonna do here in this demo. So we're here in the scheduler and uh, I have my video ready, my pastor's sermon is ready, it's recorded and I want it to go live on Sunday and uh, I want it to go live at 7 a.m. Boom, just like that. There's also a slider here, I'm not gonna use that. Then you can choose a thumbnail. I'm gonna choose my thumbnail. Let's get that going. Boom, okay. And now uh, we can do a schedule notification here, which I really like because uh, this is something you can do on Monday and people will see that your live stream is coming up on Sunday all week. So you can, you can actually automate this by just setting it up your month ahead, if you have all the sermons and everything, you can set all those live streams and schedule them right here. And you don't even have to have the video. You can just do it right here. It's very simple. For now, I'm gonna hide the schedule notification because it's Saturday night. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show it. Yeah, let's show it, okay? We're doing this on a Saturday night. We just finished editing. We just got the sermon recorded. It's kind of last minute, but you know what? It's 12 hours from now, real time, and I technically don't have to be awake when this goes live. I'm really excited for that. So we got the thumbnail. We are gonna go ahead and keep the uh, stream here. So we're going to go to next and then we're going to give it the video title. Okay. So the pro title is prophecy points us to God and the description. Um, definitely don't use this example as a good description. Uh, we can do a better description than this, but I'm going to copy what my pastor wrote here. All right. Very good. Okay, and then where would we like to go live? I'm going to choose my page, uh, not FBE, Crosswave Church, my page. Now, this is where uh, Live Pigeon separates itself from Facebook Premiere, is because Facebook Premiere, you can only go live, you can only schedule a live video to your pages, uh, and one page at a time, of course. Uh, the live pigeon, I can add, I can go live to my profile. I can go live to my other pages that I manage, but I can also go live to my group. So if I wanted to add my group here, Bill and Ted's Excellent Church, uh, then I could absolutely add that there. And I can go live to my page, my group, my profile, all across the board. I can also, if I was signed in with YouTube, I could also go live on YouTube. So we love restream and that is absolutely a valid choice if you want to multi-stream. But with live pigeon, Bill in already, you can go live in two separate places, Facebook and YouTube. 
Okay, next I'm gonna upload my video. I love that you can already just choose from Dropbox and Google Drive. So if someone else is editing the, editing the video, you can just get the link from Google Drive or Dropbox if it's already there and it will just upload it from there. For now, I have it downloaded. And then what this is gonna do, it's going to upload and then it's going to render it. And the, the process is gonna move along for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that finish and then I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like and then give my final thoughts. And we're done. We've got it set up here. Here, uh, prophecy points us to God. We've got the uh, the the section here. I'm not seeing the thumbnail here, uh, but the thumbnail is hopefully there. And I did get a notification on my YouTube that a live has been scheduled to the page. So uh, you can also schedule all this outside of having the video. You don't have to have the video to set this up. If you're shooting the video on Wednesday, editing it on Friday, there's nothing wrong or there's nothing stopping you from scheduling the live on Monday. Uh, once that's here, you can go into the completed and you can see when it runs, like the one last week. You can see the ones that run. You can see the ones that are being better waited for or that are waiting to go live. Uh, and then, of course, you can go back to your dashboard and complete the pigeons that are still waiting. Uh, so let me go back to uh, let me actually go to the sales page and kind of show you uh, kind of my, my thoughts. And we'll make sure that, you know. I'll, I'll kind of walk through this. So go live without being live. What do churches, gamers, and sports all have in common? They have the exp they have they all grow exponentially with live video. I think this is 100% true. This is not lying. Okay, you are essentially going live on Facebook without being live, and you can automate it. So if you just can't go live on a Sunday morning, you don't have to move your service. Or if you can't go live right at 8 a.m. on a Monday morning when you want to, when your audience is mostly engaged, if you're feeling sick, or if you know something's coming up and you can't go live, you can absolutely record it and then go live on Facebook. Um, so you've got, uh, you know, the full studio here. You can watch the videos. Uh, these are a couple of people here, three people here I know of, and I, I would hundred percent trust them, uh, for all this. So uh, a couple ideas of things you can, you can record. Um, and the, uh, this is, pretty much easy. That's, that's, uh, Brendan that you can, uh, learn, f learn more about. And then basically just like it says here, record schedule, sit back and relax. It really was that simple. And then you have the plans here. Uh, of course with, uh, with the general church, you're probably going to want the standard. Uh, if you're going to do more of like prayer services or uh, sharing a vlog or something like that, uh, you may be able to get away with the basic. And if you just want to test it out, you can absolutely try the pay as you go. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to commit. Just try that out. Uh, and then you can also go with the standard. You get a 14 day free trial. So I really like that. Um, that's pretty cool. So Brandon uh, is there and you can learn more about him. Some FAQs. Let me wrap up here with my personal thoughts. So when I first heard of Live Pigeon, I really thought that this was just a repackaging of Facebook Premiere, and I, I didn't quite understand why this software existed. Uh, but Brandon really wanted me to review it, and I said, you know what, let me just try it because you know, we can at least say, don't do it, it doesn't work, or don't do it, it's not worth it. Here's what I've noticed. Uh, first of all, the biggest uh, benefit to Live Pigeon, there's two really big benefits. Number one, you can go live, you can schedule your lives in groups. I think that's huge. I think that's really good. I don't know why Facebook doesn't let you do that in your groups or profiles. You can only do it on pages, but most of the engagement is in groups and profiles. And then also, there's a little bit of a difference, at least with Facebook, you know, you get a notification that says, uh, my church, uh, your church is premiering a video versus your church is live. It seems like the live videos still get more engagement. Now this is allegorical just based on the analytics that I've looked at, uh, but you, you, you do potentially might benefit from uh, more engagement when your video goes live versus a premiere. The number two biggest benefit is the fact that you can go live to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Instead of having to use a service like we Restream, which we love and you should use if you're going live actually going live uh, but if you use something like live pigeon you can save that money uh, that 15 16 dollars a month whatever it is uh, and then you can just put that towards live pigeon and so it's not as expensive right off the bat and you can go live 
on Facebook and YouTube. I think that's huge. I think that's really cool. Also, you can it just makes scheduling easier. You can actually schedule ahead of time without having the video. You can go back and edit those schedules. Sometimes it can get a little iffy inside of Facebook. You upload a large video and then you got to change it and you have to go back to re-upload it. Seems like it's a much more easier thing on Live Pigeon. Let me address one thing too, because I know when I go live on Ecamm, or other platforms, whenever I play a pre-recorded video, it says make sure that you tell your audience or that you have a watermark or something in the in the description that says this is a pre-recorded video. Live Pigeon does not do that. There is no watermark, there is no description, there is no clarification that this is not a live video. It just goes live. I talked to Brandon, the guy who created it, and he said that they are using the official Facebook API. Facebook knows what they're doing and they haven't had any issues. So for now, I don't think that's an issue. If that is something that concerns you maybe dig a little bit deeper but for now I am really enjoying the software I am really enjoying how simple it is how easy it is and I think this is great uh, for the pastor or the leader who's really times time restrained time restricted uh, to uh, to do live recordings but knows the power of live recordings and also if you want to multicast those recordings instead of uploading twice which can take even more time you can upload it once have it simulcast to your groups your profile I know a lot of pastors that go live to a page and then share it to the group and then share it to their profile you can go live across all of these profiles at once plus your YouTube I really like that. I think that's really cool. So, um, and I've already tested it and the Facebook Live went great. We had great engagement with the live video. It went off right on time. I get an email that notifies me, hey, uh, this is scheduled to go live. And then I got an email after it was done. Your video is done. It went live. Everything went well. I, I like that. The more communication, the better. I don't have to wonder if something happened. Uh, so I really enjoy that. That's my review of Live Pigeon. If there's anything else that comes up or anything else that catches my eyes I will leave it in the comments below and if you have any questions let me know and uh, Brandon doesn't know it yet but uh, he's in my Facebook messenger now so I can ask him and I'm sure he would be happy to either leave a comment below or reply to my questions to him and then I'll get you the answer so I hope you like live pigeon are there any other softwares that you want us to review to take a look at by all means let us know send us a message on Facebook or leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel church media guys we review review software. We give you pro tips and we have a weekly show where we go over the most uh, strategic use of what you have, whether you have a small budget or a large budget, budget, a small church, medium church, large church, or whether you're at home doing virtual church, or whether you're in person, we want to help you do ministry better so you can go change lives. So there you go. I'm going to end it here. Go change lives. <laughs>